Our team at Microsoft has been able to take a subatomic particle that has only been theorized until now and not only observe it, but control it, creating an entirely new material and a new architecture for quantum computing, one that can scale to millions of qubits on a single chip. Microsoft just made a game changer in quantum computing. They made a chip that can have millions of qubits with their new Majorana chip. If you're not understanding what I'm saying, you're not alone. So let me clarify. Quantum computing kind of relies on these things called qubits. So for modern day architecture with computers, we deal with like ones and zeros, on and off. That's what you hear all the time. If you've ever seen the matrix, you've seen the screen where the green numbers come down it's supposed to be a representation of the ones and zeros computer code basically even have that right now believe it or not when you text when you type when you do an emoji it's all made up of groups of ones and zeros that have like a unique digital footprint for these computers and that's all fine and good if you're trying to do simple math problems like multiplication, division, derivatives maybe if you're trying to write a paper or something like that and we've come a long way we have RAM, we have different processors that can do quite a bit. But the problem with that is these problems that we are solving currently can only solve such a finite number of problems. What if you wanted to solve problems like charging a battery in your phone? You ever wonder why you get a phone and you try to charge it up, but for some reason, the longer you have your phone, it goes to 0%. The battery shot, you can fully charge it, but the battery only lasts for 20, 30 minutes. Well, you can totally change that if you want to with quantum computing, because you can replicate everything about how a battery works, the natural processes of the atoms that go into batteries, the electrons that go there, and understand in great detail how this energy is being lost so that you can never have to lose that energy. And to that testament, Microsoft has done something that has never been done before. This marijuana is a particle that has never existed before. It was only theorized until just recently. They said they first observed this particle last year and now they're already harnessing it on a chip. These qubits are the ones and zeros that are used quantumly. So instead of having ones and zeros for a normal computer, we have a quantum one and two or zero and one that's called a qubit. And these qubits, there's a problem. They're usually hard to control. They usually are error prone. So let's say you had a normal computer. Let's say you was trying to use these ones and twos right now using electrons to do a computation like a math problem. The problem with that is that these ones and twos ends up being very consistent you can replicate this over and over again and the answer will come out the same. But qubits are error prone and they're finicky. They're only available at perfect conditions basically, as well as they're only really good as long as they're in a certain type of environment. So they're error prone. And you can either solve this problem by making them larger or making them smaller. But the trade-off by making them larger is that they require so much more energy and resources to take to do these things. But making them smaller makes the process so much slower, which are horrible trade-offs. So this marijuana is a new particle that is way more stable and it's small, which is a perfect trade-off for qubits. And now they can make a qubit that's super stable and they can use millions of it onto this new chip that they have also they were talking about they made a new semiconductor using a new typological state so basically we think of matters and states of matter as gas liquid solids those type of things but there's also different types of states of matter like plasma for example is i think is a different state of matter but there's also other states of matter that is completely different and they were able to harness this new state of matter that they created themselves that can harness the marijuana particles that can allow them to use these millions of particles these millions of qubits and it be consistent they said that these computations that are going to be done with quantum computing 
would have took normal computers, not just multiple lifetimes, but things that would take the age of the world and beyond of the universe to compute with the best supercomputer that we have now. So now having these qubits being stable, we can do things that we'll never have been able to do in the first place. We'll be able to do things like create new materials, create things that have never been made before. We have like carbon steel and all the other things now. And these changed the way we built buildings because with this carbon and this steel or these materials, it laid the groundwork for a new technology to be made on top of it. Think about how our phones are right now. Cameras enable us to have touch screens and sensors. And you even see in Japan where they have electric trains. We have electric cars and technology is evolving fast, but there's things that take a massive level of computation that is hard to just suss out with a supercomputer. We need quantum thinking to solve these problems. These problems can even solve things like cancer. They can even have self-healing particles. Understanding why gra glass breaks or shatters. What if you can figure that out and just have the glass repair itself? That's the type of thing that they're talking about, which is super futuristic, super scientific, and I'm definitely here for it. I think this is gonna change the game because now they said that quantum computing was like decades away, and now it's just years. We are on the cusp of understanding and seeing things that are only sci-fi. Not only that, they said that these quantum chips can be used in tandem with AI to supercharge AI. Think about AI that can think billions of years ahead in every type of step imaginable when it comes to solving a problem. These things are gonna be able to help solve problems every day. You even saw with Elon Musk, where he talked about Grok 3 and that we're probably two years off from having Nobel prizes being awarded to AI. They said the scientists will probably get the reward, but Grok or AI in general would be the tools that are used by these scientists in order to get these breakthroughs. And if these are quantumly charged and quantumly upgraded, it's gonna change the game forever. If you wanna keep up with the latest and greatest AI news, tech news, and quantum computing, AI, robotics, you should definitely like and subscribe. If you think this is just the beginning, you should definitely subscribe. With that being said, Dex9Dexter, out.